Hey, good morning and welcome to the fourth episode of Respire Labs. We at Respire Labs inspire, aspire to inspire your startup journey and also in, equip you with the necessary knowledge for you to succeed in your startup life. Today with us, we have Mr. Sean Ku, who is one of the co-founders and also CEO of Grab Gas, which turned into Hello Gas. He will be sharing his take on digitizing the gas delivery platform and also his transformation from Grab Gas to Hello Gas. So without further ado, let's welcome Mr. Sean Wu to introduce himself. Yeah, um, hi everyone. I'm Sean and I'm from Hello Gas. So, uh, I'm... <laughs> background. Yeah, my background. So, um, I'm from Chunganu, a very small town called Paka. Paka. Yeah, very, very small town. It used to be Fish, uh, fish Village and right now uh, it's quite famous because of the oil. Island. Yeah. Oil refineries. Yeah, oil refineries. So I'm from Chungano and um, went to KL on age of 18, studied in uh, civil engineer on uh, in Indian International University. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nila. Yeah, Nila. Civil engineer. Yep. So uh, after I studied, I went back, worked for like few months in, I mean, uh, at the petro Petronas refinery uh -huh. for the shutdown. That I decided to like, I want to start a startup. So you're like itching to start something <laughs> on your own. Yeah, yeah. But because IT related. Yeah, because since young, like, I love tech. Uh -huh. And I get inspired by uh, Steve Jobs and okay. Mark Zuckerberg. And uh -huh. their secret to tell is that I watched the social network. Uh, the social network movie, movie yes. for like 27 times. What? <laughs> you like that too? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like I like the storyline. I like how they build the things uh, and stuff like this. It actually inspired me to like let's do online business. Wait, so. you wanna rate your friends ugly or not ugly? The <laughs> <laughs> is not about that, but, but it's a it's a good movie. Uh -huh. Go go watch it. The social level, yes. <laughs> yeah, so so that's inspired me to start the startup. You started with what bash, right? Yeah, bash. It's a social network to gather friends to play sports. Yes, it's a. Meetup app. Meetup app. Yes, uh -huh. for people nearby to play sports together. Okay, okay. So yes, after yes. that, after uh, running Bash for a year, you yeah. thought about starting something else. Yes, because I myself actually face the problem. What is the I problem? Don't, I don't get gas. So uh, I I just okay. moved to KL uh -huh. and I asked my auntie, uh, do, do, do you have numbers of uh, the drivers? And he said, yes, yeah. give them me. And I called the driver to the driver and said, I only pass by your house on Wednesday, uh, 4 p.m. And then I was walking that time, okay. and then I couldn't really wait for the gas all the time. Uh, so, and uh, I, only one serviceman around that area. Yes, I don't have any other numbers. Wow. I don't even know anyone there. You don't know where to find the numbers. Yes, correctly. So, and I have to eat outside for like two weeks, <laughs> and I have to go seven and buy the water because uh -huh. I, I used to boil the water. Boil water yeah. Yes, so uh -huh. it makes me feel like. Convenience, uh -huh. and I was realized that why not uh, do something like this? So I, I just go back to my office, and then I just called uh, ask you, hey, do you want to do this? No, she didn't say that. Oh, let's Jason, try. It. Jason was working with you before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So Jason is uh, one of the co-founders of Hello Gas. Uh -huh. So what, when I asked him, that, uh, let's do it, and then he said, oh, yeah, let's do it for fun, lah. Uh -huh. At the time, the, the mindset. Let's, let's see how it goes. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and quite surprised, everything just. Everything like that. <laughs> so, um, Ms. Sean also shared that he went through some hard times. Yeah. So, yeah. do you want to talk about it? Do you want to share to our videos about what happened exactly like last year? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, like, your name was everywhere. Meaning, <laughs> like, every tech guy in Malaysia, I started up that new yes. crap guy. Suddenly. Yes. yes, it's not just Malaysia, you know. Uh -huh. uh, my friends in Hong Kong, uh -huh. Thailand, actually sent me that. Is this you that they are talking about? And then I was like, yes. Mm -hmm. And then my, my friend Jason actually meet some guy from Rocket Internet uh -huh. and say and tell him that, hey, are you Jason? And then he said, yeah, I am. And we heard about your news in German. Yeah. And then it was like, okay. Uh, we are making happens? it big, man. <laughs> it's, hey, but any publicity is good publicity. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, you, you have to accept it. Accept it. Yeah. But truthfully, uh, after the controversy happens, we, we really lost everything. We lost the team, mm. we 
lost our no, program. Uh, do you want to share like how, what happened? So, uh, I think most of the people already know about the controversy, right? But so, let's listen from a call phone what happened. Okay, um, for, for us, for uh, us co-founders, yeah. for us, uh, we, we, we do realize that there is mistakes that we do. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it's as... Uh, Big as publicized. Yeah, yeah, as publicized. It's, it's more about uh, things that are, uh, I mean, a negotiation breakdown that is for, for the job. Right. Right. So like uh, communication break, break, break Yes, down, yes, yes. Break. But uh, I think the, the biggest mistake that we, we actually did mm-hmm. is that we didn't end everything well. So everyone left with anger. One of our, uh, I remember one of our previous uh, guests, mm-hmm. Mr. A guy from, hey, what's his name, a guy from Optic, Tanba News. Uh-huh. He said he had problems with his co-founders. Mm-hmm. The only way to end it well is to be mature about it. Yes, correct. Yes. Sit down, talk, yes, what do you yes. want, what do I want. Yes, That's correct. Kind of so this is what we learned. And honestly, our team is very young that time. And yes. um, we do really... Uh, that time, everyone is angry. Like, what I have to say. Yeah, emotionally you, driven. You, you, you say you're right, I say I'm right, everything uh-huh. stuff like this, uh-huh. and then uh, we move on, and then, uh, and like, like what I say after the controversy, uh, what happens on the controversy is that uh, our CTO uh, wrote a blog that really, I mean, uh, destroyed your company. Not really destroyed, uh, really put an impact in my companies that um, uh, we lost everything in one week's time. In one week? Yeah, in one week. We lost, lost, lost meaning like what? Investors pulled out? Or we, we, yeah, we lost an investment. Uh-huh. We lost our product. Mm-hmm. We lost our team. Product meaning like what? You don't own the product anymore? At that time, actually the product belongs to the CTO. Okay. Because we, we didn't sign anything. Uh-huh. So he has the right to take away the product. I see, okay. okay. So, uh, in the other hand is that, imagine in the negotiation, he actually in the side of the hand. We don't really hand on any bargaining chip actually. Okay. So uh, I mean, it's alright. Just move on. So um, so we, then you had you had to rebuild the whole. Yeah, we even lost one of our co-founders. Uh-huh. He has to leave uh, the company because of the uh, family commitment. Ah. Yeah. He, okay. His his daughter just born, newborn, uh-huh. and then he has to pay for his family. Right. At that uh-huh. time, we don't uh, the funding investment is too out. Mm-hmm. So we don't have really have money to like sell something. I see. Yeah, yeah. So everything is gone. Like one week is gone. One week. Then like, what do you think you're going to go back to your like normal job or? So uh, what do you think? Just me and Jason actually went back to the office and we looked around and you know, no one's there. Yeah, no one's there. Like, <laughs> everything is so stressed. Uh-huh. But uh, quite fortunately, <coughs> when before everything happens, we we usually tell our investor update our investor all the time. Okay, okay. So, so you, your investors knew what was happening. Yes, so when the blocks come out, investment pool out like this, we usually call our investor and uh-huh. we have a chat on the copy and he actually tell us that uh, he won't let us. Okay, he'll stand by you yes, and support yes, you. Yes, yes, So, so uh-huh. this actually pulls out me and Jason said that um, why not let's try one more time. Okay. Let's give it a try. If really fail, yeah, and then we get off the kids. Uh-huh. But, um, we, we just like last, I think, October? Yeah, last year, October. Mm-hmm. We, we spent, uh, we quite fortunately get a, uh, help from a friend uh-huh. to help us to, I mean, he, he's running a freelance company, so he actually quote us a very, very uh, low price okay. and help us to build a product back. Alright, alright. Yeah. So, like, your actual product came up like last October? Start development. Start start rebuilding. Rebuilding. Yes, correct. Okay. So we, we relaunched it on this January. Wow. So yes, like this year January. It took a long time to come back up. Uh, yeah, because a lot of deals going on. Drivers, it's like, hey, what's going on? They read the yeah, revenue, yeah. so we have to explain. Uh, we have to get more investment to come in. So uh, it's a period, I mean, quite hard for us to, to like really. It was it'll actually be hard to even convince investors like, hey, I'm going to come yeah. back up. Yeah. So we, me and Jason actually focus our own money.
money uh-huh. to really put into this startup. Not much lah, but then uh, enough us to survive, survive. for two to, two to three months. Mm-hmm. So we actually use that two to three months. And also pay for your development cost, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's going to be quite a lot. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, for me and Ethan, we actually use the two to three months that we only have uh-huh. and we try our best. And in this three months time, we actually recruited more than uh, 100 drivers which cover Clang really? Yeah, which ever for us to provide that uh, 80% service 80% in India. coverage. Yes. Wow. So, so uh, using the small, whatever we have, uh, the limited resource, uh, uh, just do it. Actually, like, I'm impressed, like, coming from totally down there, coming back up, with, like, lack of motivation and everything, I think it's a really good job. Oh, you did really well. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, honestly, tell me, we, 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 we don't we didn't even imagine all this happen. We you don't say like imagine. let's try something. Let's, let's try again. Just try, just go out and tell the drivers again about who we are. Mm-hmm. Let's try to tell about the oil company what we are. And mm-hmm. at the time the the one one of one of the biggest oil company actually wants mm-hmm. to do is going to sign a partnership with us. Okay. And yes, give up because of the controversy. controversy. So happens, yeah, it happens. So uh, we have to get back of the So uh, the trust that uh, the investor put on us, right. Right. because that to say that uh, I trust in you guys, I believe that you guys can do it and just do it. That's why we said like one last time, let's try and try the most harder what we can and just do it. See, many people <laughs> come and many people talk that uh, talk about how they spend sleepless nights and we did this, they did that. Now you come and say that actually the other people, the outside people, yes, yes, they're yes, the yes. one who really supported you. Yes, yes. It's not, it's not about what we do actually. Uh-huh. It's because uh, we, what we do is what we're supposed to be doing. That's just your job. Yeah, this is our job. Uh-huh. But the people that is not related with you guys, that giving us support is the right. biggest things that push us to do all these things. Like you, you don't want to let them down, right? Yes, yes, yes. Or like friends and families and even the dealers, they actually introduce other dealers to join us. Yeah, yeah we, we are not, can, hey, can you help me to ask for dealers? You don't ask no, them. we don't ask, but when they get guests, they say, you do, do you know about grab okay. At that time, we still call them grab guests. Yeah. Do you have any guests before you say that? Oh, no, I, yeah, it's like give out my name card yeah. or booklet or stuff like this. Yeah, yeah I mean, that, really that moment actually helped us grow that fast instead of me and Jesus. You doing the marketing, reaching out to people, it's going to take too long. Yes, yes. But the people that support us uh-huh. to help us to reach out, mm-hmm. make the whole progress smooth a lot. You must be really lucky, man. Yes, yes. yes. I mean, yeah, for us, like, I have to thank for every people that support us along the way. All right, yeah. all right. So, okay, now you're talking about digitizing the gas delivery yes, platform. Yes, yes, So, what's your take? How are you, like, actually helping digitizing the gas delivery platform? So, um... When we started this company, our vision for the company is to fulfill home needs. Okay. At that time, there's a lot of people doing home needs, like groceries, stuff like this. Uh-huh. And, and then for us, it's like, uh, what what is that we can do that really fulfill home needs? There's Uber, there's Grab, there's what uh, there's Tesco grocery. Tesco like is also delivering, right? Yes, everyone is doing this. Uh-huh. And then we realize that, what? no, why don't people just bring gas? Like every Need gas, need gas, right? As long as you're cooking, you need gas. Yes. So we really spend time to study about this market. Uh, so we follow the drivers day to day operation. So we, we so you already talk to them and then you yeah we we we, 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 we follow them in the truck to uh, go for deliver the gas. Okay. So we 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 actually carry the gas by ourselves. Wow. So we want to understand what's their pain. Uh huh. What can we help them? Right. So based on what the operating things that they do. We try to digitalize them. Okay. Instead of pen and paper, we try to put it everything into one single one thing. Even even giving out receipts is a problem. Yes, so we try to make it into an email so easier for uh, the drivers to send out okay. receipts. 
Okay, let's say um, you want to order a gas now yeah. from you. So I go to your website or yes. app, yeah. and I say, hey, I'm in Cyberjaya, um, uh, I want a gas. Yes. So you ask like, what size gas you want, what brand gas you want, and then yes, you... yes. So after that, what do you do? So, uh, in the early day, uh -huh. when you make an order online, uh -huh. what we do is that we pick up a phone, we call for dealers to send gas to you guys. Uh -huh. So it takes time. Uh -huh. So right now, uh, we have an app for the drivers. Uh -huh. So when you make an order, the uh -huh. drivers that are nearby you, which have the our app, okay, so they can view the app from the yeah, uh, view the order from the app, okay. so they can directly accept the order, your orders from uh -huh. the app.
month ago and everything has just happened. Okay, wait. We have a question here. Sure. I am seeing that your business operation is like the conventional service directory minus the searching. Mm -hmm. What do you think if all service exists in the world implement this? Some people say this is a phenomenon of Uberization of service, as in, as in Uber in their car handling platform. So, you, what if every service becomes like this? I mean, is there like a positive, man, negative for this? Why? You need to understand about the industry, uh, Not everything can be overnight, overnight. Uh, so, some of the things you have different kind of uh, business model, different type of operating way. Even though we look like Uber, Uber kind of uh -huh. thing. But actually, if you look internally, we are more like an SAS for the gas industry. So service as a solution. Yes, yes. Uh, so we actually help them to smooth their operation, keep uh, their data, keep track stuff like this. Actually, you you're not like Uber because Uber is like getting uh, independent yes, person correctly. to provide service. Yes, yes. You're actually helping the existing. Yes, platform. yes, yes. What we try to help is to help existing uh, LPG. I mean the cooking gas. Uh, that already to provide their service faster yes. and more efficiently. Yes. Instead of they have to make their own marketing, they have to like bring their own cars and move people around. Is maybe maybe our viewers are thinking that you hire someone who is on the road, uh, some driver to just provide gas to someone else. That's yes. that's not how it works, guys. <laughs> we actually work with already uh, existing, existing suppliers. drivers and dealers. So if it makes us can grow faster than uh, hiring our own. So, so you just shared with us that you're going to Johor. Yep. Correct. Any other plans, expanding, expand, expansion plans? So, uh, after Johor, we'll be going into Penang. Uh, everything wow. is in pipeline. Uh, uh -huh. There's no certain date in, in Penang yet, but there is certain date for, for Johor. Johor, 10th of July. July. Yes, okay. correct. So, wow. from there. Why 10th? 10th of July. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so, after this, uh, Penang. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is for this year. Uh, maybe for next year, what do you plan to do? Um, there's two country. I mean, uh, oil company in uh, other country actually uh -huh. reach out to us that uh, for collaboration to bring in our service into their country. Uh -huh. So we are still in talking. Hopefully, we can uh, come up with something. Wow. Yeah. It'll be like international. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, we. Yes. I mean, like. Le the lesson that we learn, right? Don't look that far. Just do whatever you do right now. Yes. Look like yeah. three steps ahead. Yes, that's it. Don't don't yeah. like other people then like think about ten years or two to three years. What you think? Maybe like, maybe if you're that big already, like we're in three yes, countries. Yes, if, if, then yes. you think about ten yes, years. Yes, yes. But right now, just do yeah. your job. <laughs> do your company. Yes. Do your job. Yes, correct. <laughs> ah, okay. So like, wait. So now you've shared about the uh, digitizing. Yes, yes, correct. What else do you think like can be given into like this kind of like gas delivery? How could you like value add? So mm, we are actually building another product mm -hmm. called Hello Potato. Are you gonna deliver potatoes? Maybe in future. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll be uh, it's a marketplace for kitchen utilities. Uh -huh. So you can buy like regulator store things from there. Because we often wow. get request that but why potato man uh just white apple okay man okay. <laughs> all right <laughs> go ahead go ahead <laughs> no, just just uh we cut out the name okay. because of easier for housewives yes. to remember okay. so that's okay. why you go for it okay right, so you're gonna like stove the yes, controllers yes, yes, yes. pipes yeah so it's a market place for that because it's because the man is always out looking somewhere and then yes and that. quite funny is that some of people actually send in some picture like the spoon or some container and others, do you know where to buy? And then we are like, we only sell gas. <laughs> where to buy this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's why it sparked us to add value, add more okay. products into our things. So you'll be like, like, support services to your gas delivery. Yes, yes, and become like fulfilling our vision to become uh -huh. a home needs company. Uh, wow. Home needs, uh, fulfill home needs. That's, that's quite a big vision, actually. I try to hit that. Uh, I mean, that's quite a Say the kitchen first lah. Yeah, I mean, try to be a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. Let's see how. <laughs> okay. You know, there's this story that they say, right? Mm -hmm. When you drive at night, right? Mm -hmm. You can only see until where your headlights go. Yeah, true. You, 
don't have to worry what's after that. Yes, correct. Just do it. Just see what's there. Or sign what's eight and left. Okay, I'm going yes, to get eight and left. Okay, that's going to be a stop sign. Yes, but right now people use wings. Uh, no people don't see light anymore, right? <laughs> then they go and jump into river and then they go yeah, yeah. something else. <laughs> this one is, they say, well, they don't open their eyes. Yes, correct. Alright, alright. Okay, um, do you have anything to like, last, a take home message for our viewers? So, uh, the first thing that I have to tell you guys is that we have to be brand instead of have grab gas, we have to be brand into hello gas. Hello gas. So, we will be hello No gas. more this t shirt, it's gonna be red. Yeah, we will, we will be printing new t shirts, but it doesn't have yeah. a t shirt yet. But we still own grab gas, uh, by the way. We still can access grab gas and we we'll drive direct you to hello gas. That, the name itself was a problem. <laughs> no, we are not allowed I'm to not talk about it. it. <laughs> <laughs> talking about it. So they are rebranding to Hello Gas. Yeah. So uh, as I mean, after the controversy, Hello Gas is the new truck, new baby, mm. and what we try to build, and there's a whole new team we try to build it. Mm. I mean, it's a fresh, fresh start for all of us. It's like well, what I get from your journey is that even though your company you all lost everything. Yep. You lost your, almost even your name. I think there was a controversy. Mm-hmm. Uh, your product, yep. your co-founders, yes. and even your name, and totally even your investors. Yep. They lost almost everything, but he rebuilt it. No, not me. Uh, not everyone, me. everyone, they yeah. rebuilt it. Yeah, all of us. I mean, I, I just play a, part, a small part of this, all these things, uh-huh. but it's the people that around us that uh-huh. really change the whole thing. Yeah. Alright, alright. So, hey viewers, as you already know, yeah. uh, every week we have a quiz of the day. Yeah. We'll be <laughs> posting a, a different photo down here under our video. Go to the post and then drop your answers there. Uh, so, do you want to ask the question for today? So, uh, the question is that name five areas that we have covered. Already covered, not already expanding covered. to. So check out our picture. Then okay. you, you will get the answer. <laughs> you want to share with them your website? So uh, our website is hellogas.com or grabgas.com or you go to our Facebook page, uh, Hello Gas app. Facebook app web. Yep. Uh, Facebook so is And download app. our app on Google Play. Yeah. Google Play. If you want to order gas. If you're, you're using induction cooker, I don't know what to do. Nah, don't use us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can be supplying that too soon. Yes, soon. Alright, alright. Okay, alright guys, that's all for today. Uh, catch us again next week. Yeah, thank all you right. so much. Bye-bye.